So one of the most popular attractions in Zanti is the Blue Caves and Shipwreck Beach boat trip. So we booked our trip with, I think I'm saying this correctly, Theodosis Cruz Zakintos. So it's grabbed your attention with the 10 euro price, that is for a child. An adult ticket is 30 euros for the two and a half hour boat trip. Now this boat trip starts in the Agios Nicholas Harbour. We opted for this because we didn't want to be on a boat for five or six hours, just seeing the same rocky landscape as we make our way up to the north of the island. That involved me driving our group in the trusty Nissan Micra and it was around about an hour. On approach to Aegeus, be very careful because people jump out in front of you in the middle of the road to actually try and stop you to park in their space and say this is the official parking. They're just trying to sell you a boat trip. So the booking office was next to the petrol station. We got access to the restaurant to use the toilet facilities. Ticket in hand, you just hang around and wait until the captain is ready to take you out or if they've sold enough seats. Nope, this is an our boat. This is our boat. Boarding is via the plank at the front and as you can see it's not very disabled or for people with mobility issues friendly. So we're all on board and it's time for the adventure to start. One thing to note, the boat doesn't hang around when it leaves the port. It was calm today but the boat was still bouncing all over the place. So now's the time to explain the route, so on the next slide I'll go through the route that this two and a half hour journey takes. So the trip you go sailing past the Blue Caves, stopping briefly to have a quick look and go straight to Shipwreck Beach. You then stop for a swim, on the way back you go into the Blue Caves and stop for another swim. So we're just slowing down now to have a quick look at the Blue Caves on the way past them to Shipwreck Beach. You can straight away see how blue the water is and the boat guide was really good and gave us some nice information and was quite informative on how the water was so blue. So a close up of the very blue water. So that breaks the journey up on the way by a slow down to have a look at the blue water and then it's put your foot down as we speed off towards Shipwreck Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to apologise for this. This section is seven and a half minutes long and it is the approach and all the viewpoints of Navajo Beach, Shipwreck Beach, along with the story from the guide. So you can play it at double speed or you can just enjoy it and find out just in case you can't make the boat trip or it's something that you want to see if you do want to make the boat trip. One of the first things you'll notice is that the boat is now in two parts. You see it on most of the advertisements still joined together. That was some years ago. They just haven't updated the picture.
You'll probably notice in the rock face the reason why you can no longer stop and get out of the boat and visit the shipwreck. You have to stay on the boat now because of a sudden cliff collapse. You can see the cliff collapse all over YouTube. Very fortunately, there was no fatalities, only a small boat got crushed. The difference between my no suntan and the deep clear blue waters. So for all of you that love to leave comments in YouTube videos, um, there was no objection from anyone on the boat to video, in fact all parties were taking videos and no one objected at the start of the cruise. You can see from that last 15 second clip, not many people actually looked at the boat because 7 out of the people were actually videoing it. Up there is a 
point view of the shipwreck, you can go by car and you can walk about 100 meters. Now please take your photos and we shall continue. So, time to say goodbye to Shipwreck Beach and on to our first swimming spot. As you will hear, you have to jump off the boat, the steps don't go all the way down. Like I said earlier, you're not allowed to swim in the vicinity of Shipwreck Beach anymore, so the swimming spot is around about three or four minutes around the corner. Obviously, they've done a health and safety assessment and said that this rock is not going to fall like the rock it's adjoined to around the corner. constant movement of people in and out the boat and jumping off does give a great rocking motion, especially for all those that feel seasick. <laughs> On this tour, the swimming duration is 15 minutes for this first stop. <laughs> The captain does encourage you to go and explore the cave. Where's she gone? I was in the cave. He also informed us that it is around about eight meters deep at this location. She's gone, Mark. She's waving. <laughs> I was zooming in and then it moved to the slide. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <Big> <laughs> <laughs> Well, it wasn't like me being a... Oh, she's coming back now. I've got her in the video. She's ever had. So that concluded the swimming time and now it's back to the blue caves.
you want to come over this side? It's so blue, you've not never seen water like that before. Before we move. Oh, that's her Okay, lean on me. Here. when they swim on that white bit. Yes. been told to look in the water because this is important. Some red, orange, blue, color. Oh, 